Hello and welcome to. Hi. Do you, do you like pens? Oh wow, that's so many pens. Shit my dick right off. Look at all the pens. Holy Jesus, that's so many pens. Well, it's probably about twenty or so. Since the dawn of time, there's been an age-old question asked amongst every artist ever. And that question is, oh, what kind of pen is that? Oh, what kind of pens do you use? Oh, this is a really good choice. What pen did you use to me? What pens did you use? What pens did you use? Every artist will tell you that any artist worth his fucking balls, any artist that knows what he's doing, even a fraction of a littlest bit of knowing what he's doing, will tell you they got that way by fucking figuring shit out on their own. You don't walk around after, oh, what kind of pens should I use to create this drawing? I don't understand. Which ends do I use to make the drawing? You fuck, you lazy little shit. You fucking... So these are some of the pens I use. Um, I, I'm Ewan and I'm a ballpoint artist. I'm also a ball artist. Ha ha. Um, I never really intended to be, but you know, you sit around and your mum goes, here, have some fucking pens and draw. Go shut up in the corner and draw while I go and argue with your dad endlessly for hours and hours. Um, so you sit with ballpoint pens in your drawer because they're just what's lying around and you draw the Ninja Turtles and Street Fighter characters. Oh, wow, all the wonders of drawing drawers. Um, and you use them in school and you stick them up your bum hole sometimes when you're masturbating to give the extra little oomph. Because they're more or less solid. They'll only break if you're using them too vigorously. And you should know by now not to do that. Um, so I just ended up using them a lot. And now I guess I've gotten kind of known. For... If you don't know, here's some of my artwork. <laughs> So today we're reviewing pens. Oh, what an exciting idea for an exciting video. I'm sure it'll be a blast. Not all of them. That would be an epic review of all of these pens. We're just going to review uh, a few, just the basic ones. And not, uh, you know, to say these are the best pens and either are the worst pens. Fuck yourself. Just some of them I use, and this is why these ones are slightly better and these ones are slightly worse. But ultimately, a pen's a fucking pen. And if you're worried about, oh, what kind of pen do I use, then you can pretty much fuck yourself off. All the way off. Fuck off. And stay fucked off. Um, not to discouraging you from talking to artists you admire, but how about you just fucking leave them alone so they can actually do their drawings and get shit done? You selfish, lazy little shit. Um, so I'll review some of these. Okay, so the most basic of all basic necessities is the common or garden household ballpoint pen, or biro, as they call them in England. I think the guy who invented the ballpoint pen, his surname was Byro, and everyone at school called him Bi for short, and he cried and said, I'm not, I like girls. <laughs> And then later in life, it was discovered that he was a closet homosexual, um, which doesn't really change the story because he's still not bi and there's, of course, nothing wrong with being. So this is a common ballpoint pen you might find in a, an office supply pay place uh, in a pack of one gajillion ballpoint pens for £8.50. Basic whatever ballpoint biro ball pen. Uh, gets chewed on by co-workers and colleagues, or shit workers and shit leagues, as I like to call them. The pricks, the know-nothing fucking idiots that I have to work with. The absolute stupid fucking moronic troglodytes. The drooling invalids that I have to fucking work with on a daily basis. I stick pens in their stupid drooling mouths and in their fucking ears and probably in their piss holes and then piss them out like a missile. The fucking idiot dildos that I have to associate with in the workplace on a daily basis. So as basic as it gets, cheap as chips, up your sister's drawers, simple Simon. Fuck. It's as good as a pen needs to be, I'm sure it writes well. Hello. My. Name. Oh. <laughs> is. Turd. Head. Chief.
Um, but what you can see here is something it does quite often, is what I call starting and stopping, where the ink uh, will, will often start and stop. Very uh, uh, convenient choice of words there, Ewan. But this one actually is not doing too bad a job of it in general. The only issue, of course, is if you choose to, uh, I don't know, draw a picture with it, then uh, you may find you uh, get left with gaps here and there, dotted lines, which are not uh, ideal, I'd say, for the drawing of pictures. Um, but again, if you're sat around the uh, school or workplace with little else to do, very little going on, and you happen to have one of these silly billies to hand, then uh, you might just be all right. Get some drawing done. Fuck off with actually doing your work. Sit and doodle a bit. You'll be okay. Look at that. Pen into your pen. Pen in the pen. So I'd give that one about six grapples. Oh, that's a Rick and more. I would give that a, a four, four out of ten. Four, uh... Four pen lids out of ten. That's my ranking system for today. Four pen lids out of ten. But, I mean, ultimately, it's it's a pen, isn't it? How do you really rate a pen? Like, if you've got no other pens, and this is lying around, then it's a ten out of ten pen. Ha! <laughs> ten out of ten pen! Blammo! Oh, I hate myself. All right, compared with, you know the range of pens available to you as a consumer in this day and age, I'd stick it at about a four. You know, it works. So it's not a one or a zero. But it's not fucking brilliant. You know, fairly flimsy and whatnot. So it's not a five or a six or a ten. It's four. It's four pen lids. Out of ten pen lids. So the next logical step up from that would be the branded version. The Bic Biro, the Bic logo branded Bic Biro Bic. Oh, wow, they make their own pens and lighters for some reason and razors. Oh, they make things you can cut with, things you can burn shit with and shit to doodle with in your spare time or when you're supposed to be working at work. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Very little difference noticeably from the outside. Uh, if you're watching someone use a pen, you may not even know they're using a different pen. You just think, oh, it's fucking, why is he drawing penises all the time? What a cock. <laughs> drawing penises, what a cock. Um, but it's more solid feeling. It's, it feels a bit more durable. The, uh, the ink flows better. The, there's less starting and stopping. Again, I know the uh, previous pen actually didn't show much evidence of that. Later pens will, I promise you, viewer. Um, but this is, uh, yeah, it's just a lot nicer, more comfortable and easy to write with or draw. Uh, feels a bit more substantial and good. It's a gooder pen. It's all in how it feels. And if I, you know, do this... Is that some ASMR? You can kind of hear it uh, rattling. It sounds quite tinny and lightweight, and it is very lightweight, and it feels very flimsy. Whereas this one feels a bit more solid, less rattling. Also, this one you can like unscrew and it can fall apart. You know, if one of these chips, the screw unscrewing mechanism is completely broken whereas this is pretty much fast in there you can pull it out but it's basically in and uh oh it's a pen this one gets six out of ten pen lids those six of those that times six there you go it's a good enough the next step up from oh jesus how many of these are we is my weapon of choice the one i choose to use more regularly than most the Big Fine Orange Edition. That's how Americans pronounce orange. They say orange because they're a bunch of uneducated idiots. <laughs> oh, you worthless humans. Uh, Big logo on the 
somewhere. Where the f... Oh, God. Ooh, I thought I'd lost it there. Um, not that it matters, because this isn't a sponsored video, because they've got to sponsor me, because I'm draw tits and shit. Um, it's orange. It looks nice. A durable and, and comfortable feeling as the old uh, classic edition. Um, but... As I say, it's, it's fine. It's a finer line. So uh, when you're doing smaller details, it's always good to do a little scribbly scrib to make sure the ink's flowing in the pen so you don't get gaps in your drawing. Uh, it's a little bit easier. Well, not easier. It's It may not even really be noticeable. Oh, yes. I don't know if that shows up on the camera. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? Um, but... It's a fine line, better for cross hatching. This is my uh, my number one pick for the pens. This is the one I use more often than others. I've got a squillion of them, and there's my my pen. This is my pen, my penny pen. Nine penlets out of a possible ten. Nine a near perfect instrument of pen technology or Penology, as I never call it, because I've never ever used that made-up word before in my life. Um, it it would be perfect if it had a clicker, just just one of these, just exactly as it is, but with a click, because clicking's fun to do with pens, and it would be a nice keep it in your pocket. Don't worry about getting ink and shit all over the inside of your pocket. So when you put your hand in and pull it out again, your fingertips are all black and whatever. Just a nice clicky pen would make it a 10. But, as it stands, 9... Oh, Jesus! There was that one, but then one day... Oh, oh it's see-through. It's like a combination of the two. Oh, you could just fucking come over. Oh, look how pretty it is. Oh, it's the crystal black fine, crystal fine black pen. Uh, funny how the word fine is used, isn't it? Because, like, fine can be like, oh, how was your dinner? Oh, it was fine. It was okay. Whatever. But then you say, oh, this China, it's our fine China. The finest, most fine China. So, fine means both just about adequate and okay, I guess. And at the same time, again, basic, just black biro, it works, but it's see-through. Oh, fancy. Uh, I give that one. I give this one seven because it's showing off, so it loses points. The 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 trying to stand out from the crowd cunt that it is. Oh, I dye my hair funny colours. Look at me. Shut up, prick. The prick of the pens. That's what that one is. It's good. I like it, but it's a prick ultimately. But sometimes we all want a bit of colour in our lives. Not all this black shit we want fucking color that's red oh my god they make red ones too can you believe it wow blessed am i that that they produced a red pen and oh boy howdy look how vibrant and rich and saturated is that the correct word the colors are oh look how reddity red it is Ah, oh, I remember using these back in the day, drawing the street sharks, tearing people open, and I'd scribble red biro all across the page to show the blood splattering everywhere. And my mum would go, what are you drawing? This is disgusting. Don't let me see you draw this shit again. She didn't say shit. She wouldn't swear. She's a good Christian woman, my mum. Uh, and this is a red pen. I'd give this several pen lids out of several more that are available. I mean, it's all right. Uh, I find the red ones to be the blotchiest as it goes. The little these little blotches here, here, here that I've not necessarily drawn in any thicker, but the ink sort of like slopped out of the of the pen, like when you've masturbated four or five times already, and now instead of shooting at you, it just sort of goes blue onto whatever surface happens to be under you at the time. Also, blue. Wow, red, blue. It's magic. Who? Uh.
composite image. That's what we're building here, folks, fellow true believers. Oh, was that Stanley quote? Oh, I think it might have been. That old dead bastard. See, this one's got green. Okay, so green, blue, red, black. Mm. Colours, colours, yes. But these are all very... They're, they're school teacher colours, aren't they? They're colours that are used to write harsh words about how stupid you are in your homework, saying, oh, you got this wrong again, you stupid waste of sperm. Oh, holy Jesus. Another four co uh, Like, seven or eight out of ten. Oh. Purple. Pink, blue, and green. Now, the green in this one, I feel, may be a little bit too light. It just, I feel like it gets lost, especially on its own. I would more often than not use it in unison with other colours to give it a bit more of a, 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 a p -p -p punch, as they say. Um, as I say, on its own, it's a bit lacklustre, where the others feel a little bit stronger, more vibrant and such. These colours, they're too separate from each other I feel. They're uh, quite garish together almost as you can see clearly. Um, whereas these four work very well together. So that's a good pen. I'd say that is damn near a 10 out of 10 pen. Um, probably may maybe a 9. This is a 9 in its own respect. This is a 9 in a an entirely other respect. Or is it four pens that are each 2.25 each. Each pen is two and a quarter points, adding up to nine points. So they made this pen, which is, you know, cool, I guess. But then they went and made this pen too. <gasps> oh my God! Look how cute it is. It's the cutest little cute pen. It's a tiny little four-colour pen. A peen, if you will. A four-colour peen. Can you believe it? It's just so cute. Oh, look how cute it is. Oh, my God. It's so fucking cute. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. It's so fucking cute. That's the time. So that's some good colours, a lot of uh, vibrant colours that work well together. But surely there could be more. It's a good range, but it's quite limited in its scope, really. That's when I would head back to the, the generic pens, back to the off-brand. These are from uh, just a pack of, hey, hello, we're a pack of... 20 thumbing coloured ballpoint pens. Enjoy drawing and shit. Have fun with colours. Oh, wow. Look at the colours. Kind of shitty. Very cheap. Cheap for the plastic. Cheap for the pen. But a far wider variety of colours than the standard for here, for there. Uh, obviously, this is a very small assortment. There's all kinds of pinks, greens, turquoise is always very nice. My personal favourite. This is a uh, like a very light brown slash orange, which, uh, when used along with a pink, can give a very, very uh, pleasing skin tone. Not here, obviously. It's usually better in context. But uh, these do suffer from, from that old uh, problem I mentioned, the old start and stop. <clears throat> Wherein the, the lines won't usually always come out solid. There's always usually a, a few gaps in there. But definitely worth having a few around if you're going to be ballpointing it up, as they say. So they're good to use on their own, but they're better to use together. And herein is where lies my, my grade for these penny pens. Uh, I'd say alone individually, they're probably worth one pen at a piece, which is, you know, could be better kind of ground. Uh, but... You get a bunch of them together, four, that's four pen lids, five, five pen lids, up to a maximum of, say, eight. Because even if you've got 
a jillion of these things, fancy range of colours, all brilliant, and they're all very cool. They're never really going to amount to the same as one of these fellas or one of these fellas. So they're good pens, of course, together as a group, like the Avengers. There you go, tie in. They're uh, kind of useless on their own, but then they find the power and strength that they have as a team, and then they defeat the bad guy, and, boo, and then they're good, I guess. Um, yeah. Pens. Woohoo. Ooh, let's get the pens. Ooh, fucking bad boys. <laughs> Ten colours per pen. Slightly different as well. Usually they're all just the same colours, but these ones are slightly variant from one another, which is quite cool. Very cheap again, you can hear them rattling around, very loose, lightweight plastics. And the colours are often fairly, uh, I don't know, dull and tacky they feel almost. Oh, that's supposed to be a, an orange, which actually it's not a bad orange. The yellow... Yellow's a tricky one because it's so light, but that's not a bad yellow actually. Uh, yeah, lots of starting stopping ink flow issues ultimately it's one of those get what you pay for things isn't it you pay for a cheap 10 gala pen you get a cheap 10 gala pen these i'd, I'd give uh six five five uh, five and a six it's unfair this one doesn't deserve any more or less than this one but i don't give a shit I think what we're learning ultimately is that brand names are brand name for a reason they do make quality products. You can't go wrong. If you've got a big pen in your pocket, you can just walk around smugly knowing you're pretty much better than anyone else around because you've got a fucking bit. They're fucking pens. Do you know how easy these shits are to steal? They're amazingly easy to steal. Just fucking grab a handful and stick them in your pocket. The packets, the size of that. Do you know how many you can fit in a sleeve of those things? Easy. I don't know about most places, but here, the stores, they have uh, rows of, of boxes of uh, just single individual pens. Grab a handful, stick it in your jacket pocket, walk the fuck out like you own a place. You've got a shitload of brand name brilliant pens for absolutely nothing. Who gives a shit what kind of fucking pens you're using? Oh, Jesus. I hope you enjoyed my video. In your ass with the resurrection Is the group harder than an erection That shows no affection They wanna ban us on Capitol Hill Cause it's die motherfuckers die motherfuckers. Tune in next week for the ultimate showdown The battle of the fucking pens The Bic Versus the paper mate Who's gonna win? Who'll come out on top? Who'll still be a fucking pen at the end of the day? That if you need a pen, it's there, and it probably does just as good a job as any other fucking pen. <laughs> Ooh.